It could be a magic final. That little replay there was a bit of magic before Dave Chisnell's dark yeah, trick. I've had a look at that case. It's oh, really interesting. Sure, I used to have something like that that turned paper into money when I was a kid. <laughs> Third him to do it the other way around these days. Yeah, Chizzy won do that. You have a, do you have a player that you particularly think may win this? Um, no, I do not. Difficult. I think Luke Humphreys has produced maybe the more consistent stuff throughout the tournament, but... Kind of, uh, the big thing that's dropped Dave Chisnell's performance is the end of the match against Van Gerwen. I have to say, Luke Humphreys' has run to this final has been remarkable for... TV champions from the last 12 months beaten Four. by Luke Humphreys, Ross Smith, the European champion, Andrew Gilding, who won the UK Open, Danny Knopper, who won that last year, a little over 12 months, in fact, One. and Damon Hetter, the World Cup winner, all beaten by Two. Luke Humphreys, a man, of course, who's still in pursuit of his first big win on the telly. It's the first 180 of this, a dozen now for the tournament. One. Chizzy has Four. one more than that. 151. Well, he, he waited a while in between 180s in matches because he had won at the pretty much at the, in the death of his semi-final match, and now he's at one in leg one. 93. To win leg third. one, Dave Chisnell might need to take out a three-figure finish, and it ain't going to happen. 78. Look at who won 58. Yeah, come through a, a tough draw. Lukeman, who made his name in the Easy. Euro Tours, really. Then Josh Rock, then Peter 52. Wright, and then MVG. Uh, an out of sorts MVG, it has to be said, but... Still got three matched darts. Yeah, somehow. We had a chat with Chizzy after that match. He did say he regretted getting involved with the crowd a little bit. That maybe just Unsettled. lost him a little bit of focus. Game on bit of mental engagement with what he was actually up there to do but he's just getting involved oh. with the crowd straight away now so uh, hasn't really learned his lesson has he <laughs> you've got to love Dave Chisnell he does it his way <laughs> 58 yeah that was proper timing Easy he literally said no Half an hour ago to me backstage, I should not have got involved with the crowd. <laughs> and there he is orchestrating them after winning the first leg. Well, I, I was taking a look over some of the previous winners and basically the history of the Euro Tours goes all the way back 46. to 2012. And we sort of make a, a note and a mention of how many events get shared out. But back in 2012, the first... One eight European two. tours were won by eight different players. Just in point winning the very first David one. David 170. Taylor, Barnabas, yeah, Lewis, actually, Whitlock, Park, Newton and an MDG. It's actually on this week, the first one, in 2012. Yeah. 98. Celebrating an anniversary. With hopefully a thrilling final between the top two seeds in this tournament. Not oh, often 83. that they get they down to the final. Off the Pro Tour Order of Merit, remember, the Euro Tours. Chizzy looks to double his lead in this one. Awkward. Moves across. 52. Look at Uruguay, 56. The very first Dutch darts masters was won by an Australian, Simon Whitlock. James on second leg. Defeating our colleague. Paul Nicholson in the final. Game on. An all Aussie final, or it was then. <laughs> yeah. Whitlock was one of the players who played in a final with the top two seeds, in fact. We found 12 occasions where that's happened, but incredibly none of them without Michael Van Gerwen. <laughs> yeah, that is incredible. Many of them were Michael Van Gerwen against Peter Wright, seven of those. Couple Van Gerwen against Ian White. 97. And the others, Whitlock, Smith, and Gary Anderson taking on MVG. Gary 
Anderson. Oh, 83. A, a winner back in 2014. Yeah, there's lots of one-time winners, isn't there? But yeah. this pair, they're both on four. 83. Same as Phil Taylor. And one of them is going to over overtake Taylor and the opponent in this match. Only four men have won more than this duo. And oh, going, of course, himself with 35. Price, 41. Wright and Smith. Yeah, on Pri Pri um, Peter Wright on seven, Price on six, Smith on five. They're going to join a oh, very elite not. group. Six. Davy required 32. Of course, Smith winning another one, hasn't he? Yeah, just a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? That was in Munich. Yeah, Dave Chisnell added his fourth first. in the first yeah. event of the year when he beat Luke Humphreys, and he's beating him here 2 1. 108. Plenty of symmetry mm. in our sport, isn't there? Yeah, and I mean, a lot of the players will probably be grateful of the absence of Gerwin Price at the moment because he's <laughs> been in fine form. Mind you, if you can play like this, you don't care who you're playing. Times haven't we over the weekend? But Dave might go on better, but couldn't quite manage it. 84. The 10 off of Dave, didn't we? 12 nine darters he's hit, you know, in his career, Dave Chisnell. Staggering. 405. I wonder how many he's hit in practice. <laughs> Must be a, a weekly occurrence. <laughs> Luke Humphreys actually doesn't have one in competition, darts. No. He's made this tricky for himself here. Yeah, wayward a couple of times, and that big visit from Chizzy might have just ruffled the feathers of his opponent. You can't, you can't physically do anything to your opponent, but you can certainly hit in those maxes at the right moments, and then the crowd's participation in it can certainly be off-putting and it's already four in the final in as many legs for Dave yeah, Chisnell and he's now on three of those legs with a Good break to boot there Game. Chizzy in charge in the early exchanges that was a beauty An 11 darter yeah, you would have thought that might have followed Luke's just gonna, just gonna try and hang on here. Did see a, a mid-match wobble, Dave Chisnell. Against MDG. Oh. But the history between those two run uh, a little deeper than the, the history between these two. Yeah, just a 12th Three, meeting, 7-4, the head-to-head -head in Chizzy's favour. But a few of those wins before Luke had really emerged as a real contender. No real scar tissue there. Yeah. 91. We mentioned the seedings as well. Another point that we should make is that by getting to this final, they're going to strengthen those positions, yeah. aren't they? 30,000 pounds of ranking money for the winner of these events. They can book their accommodation and travel for a fair few. Go on then. Oh, he tried. I've did a few of those as well. We have two from MBG. Yeah, no 25. Dutch champion. Chizzy accounting for Van Gerwen and Humphreys knocking out Nopper. Nine. Now then. He gets an opportunity. And does Dave Chisnell now regret going for the bullseye? Only got two darts at double there. Needed more. And he'll get more. 41. Maybe requires 16. Thunderclap yeah, getting going the in the crowd Dave. and all the applause at the moment. It's yes, for the man wearing yellow. 
Shake of the head there from Luke Humphries. Hasn't yet found that level that we saw during that brilliant battle in the quarterfinals against Danny Nopper. Final of 40. They can safely book their tickets and accommodation for the, the finals, which will be in Germany, in Dortmund, 26th to the 29th of October. Yeah, well, who's to say? These won't be the seedings for that. I think Gerwin Price might have a thing or two Eight. to say about that. Another one on the floor from Dave Chisholm. That was a problem earlier on. 28. He's gone the wrong side. Yeah, right now Chis is second seed for that behind Price. If Humphreys wins the final, he will 63. move up to third. David on the European Tour of Order of Merit, which will be the seedings for that event that Mace just mentioned. It tends to throw up some tasty ties. Yeah, Ross Smith, the champion. Fair Defending in Dortmund. Lugar, 65. Knocked out of this one by Luke Humphreys. He's found an 18 there. He was fabulous in that finals, wasn't he? Ross Smith. Yeah, that's fabulous from Humphreys as well, because Dave was in danger of getting too far in front. Yeah, running away with it. Well, I don't know if yeah, that final as well, with Ross Smith against Michael Smith, was one of those great finals, wasn't it? There was literally... It couldn't be separated until the... The very end, and you don't always get those when it's quarters, semis, finals no. on the same day. No, fatigue always tends to play a role in in these long days, and these are even longer, aren't they? Really? Yeah, but we're not seeing it from Chisnell no. certainly, and we have seen that from him in the past. Just to highlight how well Luke Humphries has done on the Euro Tour in the last 12 months or so, this is. His sixth final appearance in the last 12 events he's played in. 120. Making the final half of the time. In the modern day game. That is. Maybe the 118. So despite the bounce out. Dave starts are, are quite late in terms of levelling out. And as you can see, they go in the board at an angle, so what can happen a lot of the time is the energy is taken off the dart by it crashing into the one before it. I mean, we have seen some genuine wire bounce outs, but they're, they're a rare thing. They, they, just, they just don't land clean enough to get enough impact into yeah. the size of. And he groups that well. That yeah. There's a, you know, there's, there's no room. <laughs> yeah, so Plenty of room in there. Plenty of margin Game. between the players in this match. 5-2 now for Dave Chisnell, who needs just oh, three more legs to take the title. The numbers remain absolutely solid for Chisnell. He's averaging exactly 102. Getting in the habit oh, of winning titles on the Euro Tour ahead of major season is a very good habit to get in. Gordon. Numbers there, twice as many maximum from Chizzy. Might be about to add to that tally. If they stay in. Gordon. <laughs> number five as he carries on his pursuit of European title, number five. 59. Even more impressive, mate, when he's probably lost Six. a leg of darts on the floor throughout the tournament. Yeah, comfortably. 
180. A nice response and a needed one as well. 61. Yeah. Really can't just can't afford to get his throw broke. At any point now in this match. Uruguay 62. There'll be one dart. A double 16. 46. Dave Chisnell now does have the chance Maybe to get that break that might not only break the throw of Luke Humphreys but also the resolve. Treble 19 for double 19. No. 59. Luke Uruguay 16. Yes, on the eight leg, Luke Humphreys. Had to hit, did hit. Well, they've had an eventful weekend. Saw their hero trip up <laughs> in more ways than one. 85. And it is disappointment for the Dutch. I think many thought that if not Van Gerwen, then maybe Nopper, and if not him, well, then, then the certainly Van Dijvenbode. Yeah, the form of the big three coming into this, it it looked likely that one of them might snare a, a title. Four hundred and twenty-three. They come to this tournament hoping for a home hero, and it just never lands. Not in this one. 140. Chisnell making most of the running in the final. It's not one. been the sort of explosive display. It's been very businesslike. High quality from Dave Chisnell, don't get me wrong. But he's just taking care of it, isn't he? 109. Maybe it's Dave Chisnell 2.0. 180 leaves 38, so there's some optimism here. 140. For Humphreys, and it could get David tricky for Dave, although he's on a dodgy finish of his own. Great for it, no messing. Dave does the biz the again. His last two winning legs. Both been one in 13, and this was sort of like an area I was questioning whether he would be able to sustain the level of play. Well, we have had our answer. Yeah, wishing Dirk a speedy recovery. There's not too much damage done because we are entering a a real busy period. Yeah, and he really was riding the crest of a wave. Both these players are going to feel like that as well. Whoever wins the final. Another couple of consecutive weekends of Euro Tour darts around the corner, Belgian darts open, followed by Czech darts open in the next two weeks. Number seven. 20 in the tournament now for Chizzy. Humphreys had to hit that, he simply had to hit that. Is He's showing plenty of grit here. Happy birthday, Papa. Who will be the daddy at the Dutch Darts Championship? <laughs> Still looking like Dave Chisnell, but one break. And we've got a different game on our hands. And I mean, they're both, they're both finding a, another gear right now. The averages are climbing rather than 42 dropping off and that's why i'm very excited to see this pair of players and many others actually play the longer oh, format stuff it. later in the year yeah because they seem to get better and better as games go on as you can see the average now is well well below that in the early stages 80. of the match after five legs he was Closer to 90 than 100. 100. Doubling, efficient from both. Yeah, pretty much where it's been for the entire tournament for both players. Slightly Three. higher. Well, tournament averages as it stands now, 98.02 for Dave, 98.09 for Luke. 26. 
26 the hard way. And that break of throw you mentioned, Murph, incoming. 65. Maybe, unless Chizzy fires in another one of those maximums to rattle the bars on the cage. Hey, Not to be, and he would have been disappointed because that first start was ideal. Plum, wasn't it? Should be a good guide. Yeah, so the left leg, Luke Humphrey. Top leg is Luke to throw first. Break a throw, a hold here, and it is very much game on. Has kicked on in the last few legs. 13 data for Chizzy, then the 12 and a 15 for Luke. The 15, though, getting the break. They will feel like he's let him in there. 140. Forty. Chisnell with an opportunity to break straight back. Well, they've certainly enjoyed it. 140. But your yes. first time with us here on the Euro Tour, mate, seems. I have to say, you've commented on loads of tournaments, big ones as well, including the, the oh, European oh. Championship, which is effectively the finals of this. But how have you enjoyed this one? Yeah, well, I, I absolutely adored it. I, it's my, I, I obviously watch the Pro Tour, but I, I make sure that hey, my fine. time is free because I, I absolutely love the Euro Tour. And I, I love the fact that it is taken around and we get to see all the host nation qualifiers and new players that may go on to get tour cards and and progress up the ladder and it's like it's you know you're unearthing diamonds it's well this is a diamond could have been but yeah it's the the venues everything the setup of everything the and it's so important massive, now aren't they huge yeah I've got to Not say a massive thank you to the broadcast team oh, that make me appear like a eight. genius but yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. Dave Chisnell enjoying himself. Or will be if this goes in. Yeah, and it does go in, so he's now Dave one away Chisnell. from the victory. Legs, Dave, the throw first. Yeah, the initial idea behind Euro Tours Game. was getting stage experience because players were turning up in the big TV tournaments having never set foot yeah. on the stage before. But now they are the most important thing for qualifying for the big TV events. £30,000 of ranking money is an enormous chunk. Uh, and on these Euro Tours, you're often, often playing in front of bigger crowds than you do in the majors that you're trying to qualify yeah. for. Yeah, they set you up perfectly. They yeah. get you oh. there as well. In terms of this one, Dave Chisnell is almost there. Humphreys had got that break he needed, but then it was, well, the, the same leg in reverse, really, yeah. wasn't it, that followed. Oh, easy enough. And, of course, everybody that isn't seeded gets an opportunity to qualify it and they're usually on the back end of pro tours so Fair yeah the whole, I think you know I'm always having a, a whinge and a moan about certain things that I change but there's nothing to change about the Euro tour I think it's I think it's perfect more we want more that's all yeah 84 is there any you know there is only 52 <laughs> weeks in a year Murph talking of changes what's your thoughts oh, on the the, the World Cup changes now that it's Paris round. Yeah, love it. Yeah, absolutely same. love it. Luke Humphreys could be one of those pairs. Yes. Potentially mm. having an opportunity to overtake. If he wins this match, he will overtake Rob Cross, but that's looking unlikely now because Chisnell needs 100 oh. for the match. David Aguirre, 100. He's averaging 101. And wants 100 to win it. Step back. Double 10. Easy. Not yet. Just a, wait, a little longer. 49. Yes. Oh. And that has happened a few times to him in this final where he's just been on the wrong side. Yeah, that's the ironic little grin he had on his face. He does leave it handy just in case Dave Chisnell misses. And don't forget all of those misses in trying to cross the line against Michael Van Gerwen.
He did cross the line. Can he cross the line in the final? Game shot. And it is Dutch delight for Dave Chisnell and a fantastic fifth European Tour title as Chizzy wins the 2023 Dutch Darts Championship.